Okay, so this was highly requested. A few days ago, I taught the drop serve. And then on Instagram, I was kind of messing around and I did a drop slice serve. And it blew up and tons of people wanted to learn how to do the slice serve. So I'm gonna teach you that in five minutes. I'll hit a few repetitions and I'll explain a little bit step by step. So drop. Pretty good. So let's have you guys come on over here and I'll show you kind of a more front angle here. So another drop, slice. So this is kind of a screwball slicer. I'll use a multicolored ball here so you can really see the spin on this ball. We have that camera angle over there so you can see the kind of flight path of this ball. But let's do another one here. Drop, slice. And it kind of spins midair and when it hits the floor because of that slice I'm doing, it kicks off that way so it can be very, very tricky. Yeah. Slice. I'll have you come on over on this side. So now I'll kind of show you what's going on with my hand. If you've been following me, you know I'm a huge advocate for loose wrist. Very, very loose wrist and very, very loose hands. And when I'm coming, I'm kind of cupping the ball like this here in an angle forward. So I'm coming forward under the ball and making this kind of C shape here. So that's film one here and we'll have that in slow-mo. Drop, slice, woo, that was a good one. Another one here, multicolored ball. Drop, slice, and it has a really beautiful kick that goes off to the side. Last one here. If you wanna be extra mean and extra spicy, focus a little bit more on the forward momentum so that this ball is coming fast and it's hitting deep and it has kick. So that's how you get extra hot sauce on your serve. So here we go. Drop, slice, and that one, I kind of, if you noticed, I did a hip thrust forward, get that power going forward, and I added that slice, adding for a really nice serve. Drop, slice, drop, slice, and that one. Let's do another angle, and let's have my friend Barry behind the camera here. He's gonna return some of these if you can, and uh, we'll give you another angle there. All right, cool, so we got Barry over there, and uh, Barry is no chump. Barry is a very good, what are you, Barry? 5'5 five, five now in duper? Five what? Five He's a 5'0 on duper, okay, so. If this aces him, you know this serves legit. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. That was a nice high return for me to pound that next one. Another one. Here we go. Hey. Ooh, another lofty return. Ooh, that was up! <laughs> hey, Barry, I didn't pay you to miss my returns, right? <laughs> All right, here we go. Drop, slice. Yeah. So that's the nice thing about these slice serves is it makes it so that they're returns come back kind of lofty as well because I'm not really hitting just top spin and they could just hit it back hard they kind of have to wait a little bit and kind of you know this the set in this makes them a little bit more hesitant that's the, I'm gonna step on this side here to try to feint that I'm going cross court and then my slice is gonna bring it in court here we go that's a great return Barry all right another one here yeah, a lot of skip. And now I can hit a drop shot on that one. Nice. All right, let's do one more. Let's go on this side here. On this side, when I'm going cross, I really like this slice serve because I'm slicing this way, which gives me a really amazing angle all the way over there. So my thought process here is I want to run Barry into the fence. Barry is usually my friend, but right now I'm going to be mean to him. Drop, slice, there you go. And now he's off position and it opens up that middle. Drop, slice, there you go. One more over here. Drop, slice, and there. I got what I wanted. I made Barry go really far to the wide out there. 
and his return was not going to hurt me and that buys me time to hit a drop shot. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed that little drop slicer tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Try it out yourself. Let me know what you think. I'll see you guys in the next one.